Hi, hello, and welcome back. I have just spent some lovely, calm, peaceful time destroying a hill. Ah, isn't that nice? Nice and flat, nice and calm, no pillagers, no ravagers, or as I call them, the ridey guys. <sighs> no, the evil guys, or I believe they're called evocators. Oh, just me, a shovel, a pick, and some sand, and some sandstone. So, let's just put some of this away. Have I got enough space? Fingers crossed. Oh, a little bit over. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, so other than that, I've just been trying to do some nice peaceful things to kind of bring myself to a calm. This is the same day. I'm recording this the same day as the um, the incident. You know, the incident with the road. Um, and I just needed stuff to calm me down. So I've been working on ow, working on breaking my legs, apparently. Um, I've just been working on this wall, adding a bit more detail to it. There's a couple gaps on the side but I quite like it you know it's diff oh no but that wouldn't make sense if this is a, a retaining wall no I've got to change that so that's the other way around there we go much better um so yeah I've just been working on this just working on this wall getting it nice and nice and calm um I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode it was quite hectic so I may have forgotten to um, but yeah, I just put this little bridge, like I said, it would just a small little thing to kind of go over so you don't have to keep jumping over that um, the little stream that comes through. I am really eating through my, uh, my iron. I mean, I wouldn't have to if I had uh, not accidentally started a raid, but it is what it is. So yeah, um, yeah, I've just been working on this. Uh, the wall just to kind of give it a bit more bit more detail. I've rounded it around my building This was meant to be a thing. Ah, this needs to go the other way now because I've changed that. I was just matching it up On the other to what I've got on the other side, but that's now different. So this I don't know why that's I don't know why there's a gap there. I can't remember what way it's meant to be. Oh Well, I'll come to that. I'll figure that out later. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, today we're going to keep it calm, keep it casual, you know, <laughs> I don't want to freak out again. I think my, uh, oh, my heart pressure went through the roof in the last episode. So let's try and let's just, let's build up this, um, let's build up this irrigation system. See if we can't get our farm started because I'm starting to run out of, this is the bread that I stole from the village and I'm obviously not going to eat any of these but food wise I've just got what I kind of stole from the village and whatever I've come from that's come from trees as I've cut them down um, I have one beetroot but no beetroot seeds so that's useless to me um, but anyway so yeah we need to we need to start building up this irrigation system I've got one uh, I got a nice one planned out so it'll probably come out to about here Lengthwise, I'm not really sure actually, um, but as in the actual a sort of aqueduct will come out the side of this one. Not sure how long I'm going to take it. I might take it all the way over to here. I could take it further. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep and get some materials together and then we'll start working on this. Okay, so first off, I'm going to just exchange these out for uh, terracotta. And I'll need it. Oh, I forgot about the back. Uh, I need two more. It's in that one. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll exchange these out. Have that nice trim going around the bottom. Um, up the top, we'll just go up. Up one on the sides, and then I believe it's two in the middle. And I'm out of that already. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you think you've got absolutely loads of the material in your pocket and then you've got nothing. Or it just goes really quickly and you just completely overestimate it. That seems to be what's happening to me every time. Um, so yeah, we'll just go around like this on the edges. 
So just kind of pill it up. Obviously, where this is a very important building, uh, I imagine everyone wanted a bit, a loads more support going around, so that they knew, uh, like the people of the village, know that um, that this building has all the protection that it needs um, from, like, um, I suppose the elements, um, like harsh wind. Oh, I need more of that as well, and I'm in a hole. Um, there we go, let's just get out of the hole. So we need more, luckily I've got more of this. More of these, I think I need two more lots. And I go with two. Let's have a look. And how do I get up? <laughs> let's just use some wood. Oh, I'll need to place it in here anyway, so. Pick that one up, and then let's just take this up, um, fill that gap. Turns out I only needed one of them. Then this gap gets, we'll fill this in with some oak. Okay. Then on the back here, we want a hole, is it this one? Yeah, want a hole in here. I'm stuck. Please. No, it won't be that. Take that back. I have this coming out. My phone's going off. Don't know why. Take these out in the middle. And then one, two, that's the start of our viaduct just coming out. Nice and simple. Uh, let's have some bread. Yum, yum, yum. Just like with all of the other ones, I will be putting in sand onto the onto the edges uh, to kind of break it up because it does now stick out a little bit where it is. So clean cut. Um, we're going to need some more. Oh, I have all my oak on me. We're going to need that. We'll need some buttons. <laughs> only have one there, but I know we'll need them. Uh, we need some of these. And let's just take all of that for now. So let's have a look. So just underneath here, underneath this one, would it be? Yeah, one, two, three. So it'll be here, here, up. Oh, no. And we'll put a slab on top of there. Um, but I haven't got a slab, so yeah. So this will just be, uh, this will be the, um, what's the word, aqueduct. So that's going to be coming out across here. Um, we'll push that across. The reason, obviously the water won't be flowing because it is on a half slab, um, but the water wouldn't be, I wouldn't want it flowing in game anyway, because I think it's going to, it would overflow a lot and I don't want that. So the idea of how I've got it up to the top is through the use of an Archimedes screw. Um, by that, I just mean, let's just make another um, crafting table quickly. So an Arch Archimedes screw, um, basically just using, that's not the right thing. I want that. Um, so it uses the power of the water. So the water will kind of come through and on the top, on the top of this bit, um, where I've got the oak log sticking out the top. As I said before, there's going to be a sort of windmill. So the windmill is going to push and it's going to, in, in inverted commas, um, so it will push the water kind of up because it will pull it up through the screw. So this, this log will, in essence, turn around. So it will go around, um, bringing the water with it. So... Let's just spin this round. Like that, and then, yeah, that'll do. So it'll basically, so this will just spin round, and as this spins round, in, I think, I believe in reality, these slabs would be kind of slanted inwards to kind of keep the water in, but we don't have a block like that in Minecraft, so we get what we have. Um, like, we use what we have even. So the water will be coming up here. Maybe it was this. So yeah, the water will be coming out of this gap. Um, 
I'll go and get some water and then it will we'll fill it out with this. Just for now, I'm just going to block off this bit. Um, but yeah, the water will kind of it'll be pulled up by the screw. Um, sort of, it's just a sort of classic. Um, one of the things Archimedes is, <laughs> is just really famous for. So we'll just put that up there. Do I want it on top? I want to hit it on there. So it'll look like it's kind of on that wooden block as well. And I believe it should hopefully spin around. Yeah, so that'll kind of look cool. Um, and then we, we'll just go through through every single one of these, the waterlog each of the uh, each of these slabs as it comes through. And then we'll kind of I have a design that lowers it down gently so it doesn't overflow. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, I'm going to go craft some trapdoors and we'll kind of start on this, um, what's the word, on the windmill. Okay, so here we are on top. Um, oh, I fell off. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to bring out, no, that's one too low. Bring out three trapdoors, um, trapdoors, these aren't trapdoors, three fences from each side. Or do I go up? Did I go out two or one? I went, I went out one. And then, so I want to make sure I get the right direction. So the water, we want it to push that way, which would, yeah, we want it to push around this way. Is that still one? Let's just double check. Yeah, we want those to go up, not this way, because otherwise it's going down. We don't want it to pull the water out. The water's already in the river. So we don't need to add anything else to it. So we want to push it this way. So this will kind of push push it round, have that on all sides, and then lastly, this one. Do, do, do. All right, that is that is the main building, um, in essence, done. Um, how many thingies do I need? I believe one, two, three, four, five, six. So I need five more and then doop 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 and then on the other side as well doop 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 all right that is for all intents but for all intents and purposes that's that's the uh that's it done that's actually i might get rid of that top one i don't like the top block um let's just go out using some sand one, two. I don't like this very top block. Where is it gone? Um, come on, please. Nope. I swear I've already picked it up and don't realise. <laughs> no, my luck. That's probably the case. Yeah, I'm just going to assume I have. Um, it's wood. I can get it again quite easily. Um, so yeah, I mean, the only thing really to do to this structure now is to add in the sand, break it up a little bit. Um, but it's the, yeah, it's this this sort of this sort of structure is it's it's a nice repetitive pattern. Um, we'll just go across a few, get that out of the way, and we'll put pick up some sandstone. So as I said, it's nice and simple. Um, comes across it yeah as i said it just follows a pattern um that first one will be thrown off a little bit because of these bits that stick out but it would be the third block as there's three three blocks in the in the middle in the gap the third block would be this block because it goes up flush against where the water comes from and what i need is some stairs i'll need that and then some slabs as well Let's just make a handful of those. Oh, I should have made some. Let's make some. Make some walls as well. And then I could do another one if I wanted to. Um, so then, as I said, it just follows a pattern. Get that half slab coming through. I'm just going to block it off at this end. Half slab. Um, on the block higher. Half slab half slab leaving that block in the middle 
And that's where we're going to put an upside down stair. Do, do, and oh, too short. Right, let's just quickly make the last two. I've really got to get a stone cutter. Just wasting materials now. And then let's just go across the edge. So this is like, yeah, this is just the, the basic structure of it. Doop, doop, doop. And then with these slabs, let's go, wrong one. We all want to go here. So just on top of on top of the, the terracotta block, so that the main pillar that holds it up. So as I said, it's not raised it up too high because this isn't like a massive city. This is just raising it up for this little village area. Um, but I'm thinking as I can as I go through the series, as the as the village will start to get bigger and bigger as we build more things, such as uh, so this is building up our farms. Um, and then we'll need a storage system eventually, so we can build up a big storage building. And then as we go bigger and um, as we get bigger, if we get a few more houses in here, we're gonna we'll probably want to expand more. I don't want to just have to keep levering leveling areas, so we can build a sort of a higher wall that comes across here. I'm thinking as we get higher, we could potentially make the buildings fancier as the sort of the classes of the people um, get sort of higher as well that's the word yeah so as we get in the higher classes they'll have sort of higher class buildings so let's what else do i need on this i need a lot more only a few more things i need on here and to say that we've just just to say that this bit is absolutely finished last bits of those and then that's what i wanted to make let's just make 17 buttons i'm gonna need them in the future i imagine um, no I want that on the hot bar. There we go. And we'll just put it in the gaps. Uh, not the gaps. Every bit where there's a main pillar, done. And there we go. So this is our aqueduct. I'll fill this out because that's going to be just a long, kind of boring, kind of going back and forth, back and forth. So I'll fill that out, fill that in off camera. And yeah, that's. That's all it is for, for the irrigation system. Well, for the aqueduct and for the irrigation building. So, yeah. All right, there we go. All filled in. Um, yeah, I think with that being all done, I think we're going to call that for the episode. Nice and calm, this one, wasn't it? No, no getting scared by ridey guys. And, oh, goodness, makes you kind of shiver. Ooh. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And if you if you liked what you saw, leave us a like. Consider subscribing. And if you wanted to leave us any leave me any tips and tricks, um, put those down in the comment se section below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. See ya.